Coach, thanks. CA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Inner Harbor and M&T Bank Stadium here in Baltimore, Maryland. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Los Angeles Chargers. They go play action here on first down. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the play. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now a first carry for Melvin Gordon. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. A gain of three, second down. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Ready. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Terrell Suggs in on the tackle. Well, that rate, picking up three yards of carry, you and I both know that doesn't cut it in this league in trying to get first downs, unless you're playing four down football. Then that's a whole different situation. But I don't think that's what they're trying to do here. Third and four, though, is still manageable. Rivers from the gun on third down. And that is incomplete. I will see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. So on fourth down, here's the veteran left-footed punter Donnie Jones to kick it away. Back deep to return is Cyrus Jones. Baltimore's offense coming back onto the field. And for the Ravens, Charles, it's really no question that the season sort of changed when Lamar Jackson was put in at quarterback. He ran off four wins in his first five starts, the only loss in that stretch overtime at Kansas City. And he really gave them life, didn't he? He certainly did. And give credit to the Baltimore Ravens staff, led by head coach John Harbaugh, to not only make the change, but institute the type of offense that would give him a chance to be successful. Heavy run based, him being a full part of the run game, and it has confounded defenses around the league so far. Is it sustainable? That's a question for another day. For right now, he's got a chance to run them into the playoffs. Second and six, just inside the 30. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. He can't get him down. And he'll get this across midfield to the 48. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And they'll go on the ground. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. So just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. 
You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Here's carry number one for Kenneth Dixon. And he takes this for about six down inside the 40. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And now Jackson will look to throw it. He gets this one to Michael Crabtree. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this. And hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't I, seem to want offer it. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. He'll be brought down at the 43. Joey Bosa in on the stop. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for, right, setting the tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. And he floats one there incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown. And that'll bring up second down. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. They'll run it here. This is Buck Allen. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. There are certain drives in the game where anything less than a touchdown that caps it feels like an absolute disappointment. This is one of those drives. So on fourth down, here's the Ravens Pro Bowl kicker, Justin Tucker, out onto the field. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And the Ravens strike first at three's hip. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Ah, uh, you like Come that? On. One? What does that mean, break out the just because you break you break chestnuts? I I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. Here's Desmond King on the return. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Los Angeles Chargers, you think Week 15, Charles, that win over Kansas City. Look, they're not sneaking up on anybody anymore. This is a team that can make a run in the postseason. Not only can they make a run in the postseason, their head coach, Anthony Lynn, truly believes in the team because in that win in week 15 
Remember, he opted to go for two after the late touchdown at work. And when they asked him about it after the game, he said, it was a no-brainer. With my team, we're going for it. But I'm with you on this team. They're not sneaking up on anyone. Yeah, they're also going to be a handful for anyone that they're going to play. And remember, they also beat Pittsburgh in December as well. So uh, this is a team that is very, very talented. Both of those games, by the way, primetime matchups, and the whole nation saw them. Yeah, the last part, they can go on the road and win. That's a big, big deal because of that defense. Second down, Rivers. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. Got a man, it's complete, Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And a nice gain of 21 yards. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. First down, Rivers. Caught left side, Williams. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. From the gun, Rivers. And this one complete to Virgil Green. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Gets it to Benjamin, it's caught. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play on the football. 180. The first down throw here for Rivers. And this is complete. It's Allen. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. If you're running out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Set, 380. Rivers again. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen from four yards out. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And the Ravens taking the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Second quarter now, Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis with you. It's the Ravens who have the football, and they've got it here with a first down. All right, here we go. Blue Jackson, and this is incomplete. Well, some news that gave us a chuckle, and we could all use that around the holiday season. Josh Johnson, a great story. He was back home in Oakland when the Redskins called to see if he'd like to join him for the remainder of the season. So how did he get to know his new teammates? Well, what did he do? He turned to the Madden game, Charles. Yeah, and that's how you learn who they are, right? Learn what they do, have some tendencies, get some ideas about their speed and what they do well, and maybe what they don't do so well. And it really helped him acclimate and got himself a big victory in week 15 against the Jacksonville Jaguars. How about the bloodline of Josh Johnson, though? Also related to Marshawn Lynch of the Oakland Raiders and Marcus Peters of the Los Angeles Rams. Pretty good company. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw again is Jackson. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. And they'll run it here. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. All right, here we go. 3 19. And on the ground they go with a running back. Had a nice broken tackle, and then brought down right around the 20. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Now let's go! Now 
Deshaun Jackson on second down. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. My good friend, I'm just going to pose the question to you. Did that look like a pass that he should have thrown? Now, the rookie probably needs to be a little bit more careful in these situations. Yeah, that throw would turn him into a veteran quicker, but not in the way that he wants. He wants to learn his lessons by making good throws, not throws like that. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. Jackson now. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown Michael Crabtree a 20 yard touchdown and the Ravens are in for six certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast but a long drive can also work to your advantage as well in so many ways Brandon because number one you get them tired but the big one is mentally they can't figure out how to slow you down how to get off the field how to get the ball back they go to the bench wondering what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. Here's Eckler to return it. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll run it now, out of the gun. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Now Gordon on first down. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Tackle made there by Tony Jefferson. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. They'll try to throw here. Rivers. And it's caught over the middle by the tight end, Green. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. From the gun on third down, Rivers, open man, it's Allen. And he's got this down to the 35. He's up over 50 yards receiving now in this first half. It's a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there, perfectly executed crossing route. On play action, Rivers. He's going to look for Allen now. And this is caught inside the five. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A gain of 32 that time. 
Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. A great play there. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers are able to strike for six. Extra point attempt to come here. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is now 14 to 10. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. More now to return. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do All so. Because right, the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Let's go! 3 -19. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave them with a third and about three to go. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Now let's go! Blue Niner! Blue Niner! Jackson looking to throw on third. It finds Crabtree for the completion. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. He had their lone TD earlier. Now he's got a first down. This quarterback now, 6 of 10 of this first half. He's got his guys a first down here. All right, here we go. Now a carry for Allen. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. But we just saw him run the football really effectively there with three tight ends in the game. And any defensive coordinator, when they see that set, if they can get more bodies out onto the field, not more than 11, of course, but bigger bodies to combat what they're going to do, because that's a run-heavy formation. Those guys are out there to block nine times out of 10. And in this case, they did it really successfully. Steps away to his left. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Second down, Montgomery. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. The Ravens on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and nine. They go play action now. Jackson. 
And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And that's a crusher right there. Had his man open for a first down, threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary. Incomplete pass. When are these quarterbacks going to learn? You don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football. On is the punter, Cook, who sends it away. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 11. They'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. Oh, he shifts past him. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. They don't want it, fellas. They don't want it. Keep playing hard, fellas, all day. Whoa! Let's get it. Get it. Yeah. 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 Too fast. Too fast, baby. <laughs> Now a second down throw for Rivers. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. With a quick slant, good for eight and a first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first and 10, Rivers. Man open left side, it's Williams. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here. second and a yard from the 34. Rivers now on second down. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Rivers now 13 of 15 passing. That's good for 87%. It's first and 10. Rivers now to throw on first down. This is Gordon on the dump off. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. yards on that last completion so that sets up second and six. To the air again here Rivers. It's complete right side to Benjamin and this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Rivers to Benjamin good for the Charger first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what 
you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. And this one is right through. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, thing stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Now Jones. And he'll take this across the 25, couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line the Ravens offense now they get set to head back on the field and from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it and I think in this situation that's the proper play but we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out final play of the first half barring a penalty as they come up on first and ten we have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And a return man, Chris Moore. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they were hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Hurry up, here we go. Three, nine, on second down, Jackson firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Set. Green. To throw is Jackson. And incomplete here on third down. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here's Sam Cook now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here 
Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. We Defense, got yeah. we, got the de we, got the, we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. Yeah, he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Ready, reliner. Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? So it back gets hit. <laughs> Here's Donnie Jones now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Jones on the return. Well, it wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially given 15, and the Ravens, they'll take over. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They go play action here on first down. Rolling to his right. And he'll get it down here to the 43. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Set. Green. On second down, here's Jackson. <laughs> it's brought in complete. It's John Brown. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. And the hitch route has run really well. That jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space. All you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got there done there. Green, 39. Now a play fake here on first down. This will be caught inside the 10. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 23 yards on the play. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead, because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. He'll get it up the middle. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Now it's Jackson. And this is going to be incomplete. Really good, smart play by the defense, understanding third and short, guarding the first down sticks, and being able to make a play on the football and bat it down.
So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And that will cut this lead back down to four now. It's 17-13. A good drive gets him inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And Green with a catch left side. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. And just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? when the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second down, Rivers. Over the middle, he's got Tyrell Williams. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They only get five out of that quick slam, but that's good enough for a first. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Now a 10th carry for Melvin Gordon. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Second in inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Rivers on first down. Allen's got it over the middle. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. So following the run by Gordon, here's first and 10. The 180! They go play action. Rivers. Looking for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. 
And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a three, lot of games, three, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Here's Jackson on third and long. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Uh, coaches always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Here's Sam Cook now as he's on to punt for L.A. Taking it about the 16. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. From the 21, it's second and 10. Now Rivers going to give to Gordon on the draw. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Back now in Baltimore. It's Charger football, and they've got the lead as well as we begin the fourth quarter. The Chargers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 14. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Set, Delta. Off the play fake here. Rivers. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Brandon Carr. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. Three, all you talk three, about nine, is taking three, care of the three, football, nine. and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter, turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter what point, you got to be super careful. got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. Now let's go! Green, 39! They'll run with Allen. 
And he's going to find his way forward here for a modest game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Here we go now. They keep it on the ground. Allen again. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's an 8-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. On the carry, it's Montgomery. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Second and goal from inside the five. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. And now Jackson will look to throw it. That's complete right around the eight. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Now let's go! Blue line. They'll run for it with Montgomery, and the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Brandon, it's easy to make decisions from right up here where we are, right in the cheap seats, but let's be frank about this one. This isn't even a decision as far as I'm concerned. They have to go for it here. Field goal does you almost no good as time's running out in the game. If you want to win, you have to be aggressive here. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down, and that is incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Chargers hold tight down near the goal line. So they'll trudge off the field with a bitter taste in their mouths after that failed fourth down conversion. Yeah, there'll be a lot of analysis there on the sidelines. Was it the right call? Was it, the, was it against the right defense? Should they have even gone for it at all? Will that change what they do going forward in this game? A lot of questions to be answered by them. The defense doesn't really care. They're like, bring it on again. We'll stop you the next time, too. And it's complete to Antonio Gates. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Hey, 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 that's they'll run it now out of the gun, and they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell him to take care of the ball. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Terrell Suggs in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. 
Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones, maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Rivers. Right side catch. This is Gates. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. They hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. A hey, simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position where we were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Set, three, 19. Again on second and 10, it's Jackson. That's caught by the former Sooner, Mark Andrews. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Jackson. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. Got some real estate inside the 30. And he'll be taken down at the 26. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Here we go now. Green. Throwing now. Jackson on first down. Crabtree with it over the middle. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. A gain of six there on first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Allen, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Credit the tackle to Brandon Meebane. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. On third down, it's Allen. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. And a couple of big boys up front defensively. And in that 4-3, those D tackles so vital. Extremely vital. I love how you describe that because if they control things up front, often it's over the guard. Sometimes they slide and make it over the center. It's really hard to get a play started then because a lot of teams want to start inside out running the football. But against a good 4-3, you may not find any space. And on that play, there was zero space, no gain. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. 
So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> Now the handoff comes to Gordon. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Another tote for Gordon. He's been busy this afternoon. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. You need your wide receivers as blockers. Sometimes they get a hold. The big runs are often a result of what they do on the perimeter. In this case, got caught holding, and this one will come back. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Ready, black 15! Following the penalty, here's Gordon. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, in on the stop. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Rivers to throw it. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Here's Donnie Jones now, as he'll put it away for the fourth time today. Here's Jones. A good return there, 17 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. They'll look to throw. And, oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Here we go now. 319. 319. Back 
to throw. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. Hurry up, here we go. Green. He's back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 15. And he's going to return it to the 21 yard line. And that one? Oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two minute drill trying to get your guys down the field. And it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. And now the Ravens are going to take another timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Here's Rivers. Forced out to his left. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. The Chargers on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. Here it's third and three. Set, lock the team. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. It's a gain of seven, and that should just about do it. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. A uh, kneel down here from Rivers, and that should be it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Baltimore, so long, everybody.